Okay, and now let's see if it works. The seller said not tested on eBay, so let's just hope for the best. Well, it seems to be working. Well, the LED doesn't even light up over here, so I definitely need to open the Atari to see what Atari might be causing these problems. So the board itself is actually in great condition. I don't even see any dust in it. The keyboard though is a different story because here on the side, the connector seems a bit corroded and Braces, I'm not even sure it makes the proper contact anymore. The if they actually make contact, the multimeter should make a sound like this. But unfortunately, it's obviously disconnected. So I use something to add thickness while working on the trays, since I don't think I can separate the two layers without damaging them. I applied some conductive liquid at the end of the trays and placed a small strip of aluminum I had cut out. Of course, before doing this, I cleaned the area thoroughly with diazopropyl alcohol because there were trace residues everywhere. 